My name is Marira Busquets, and today I will be discussing the following prompt. Ways of knowing are a check on our instinctive judgments. To what extent do you agree with this statement? The specific ways of knowing, which include language, perception, emotion, reason, imagination, faith, intuition, and memory, all work in conjunction to build the knower's notoriously complex way of thinking. In many ways, they determine how knowers accumulate insight about the world. However, as the prompt questions, can they also shape the unconscious sensible conclusions that as knowers we make about the world? Such a question has important ramifications for the value of knowledge, whether positive or negative. The intuitive decisions made by knowers needs a way to, to counterbalance the influence they exert. Our instinctive judgments, regrettably, can be corrupted by a knower's biases. These inclinations that cause lapses in the reliability of a person's thinking. However, they can also be counteracted. The counteracting force against solely basing ourselves on our instinctive judgments are the ways of knowing, which I have mentioned previously. They can work as a single organism that ensures the soundness of a knower's instinctive judgments. Personally, I agree with the statement the prompt is making, for I believe the ways of knowing dictate completely the automatic decisions I have made in the past and will make in the future as a knower. The ways of knowing are an extremely tangible way to verify the reliability of that first and eighth decision our instincts compel us to make. It is something that my own life and context have proven to be true. For purposes of my examples, I will be focusing on specific ways of knowing in isolation, rather than, rather than as a whole organism they function as. Take reason, for example. Reason is most definitely a check on our instinctive judgments, and logical thread of thinking that follows it is unconsciously occurring in the decision-making progress. Reason gains its importance to us as a check on our instinctive judgments because it fulfills the valuable function of en enabling us to identify reliable informants. It is of immense practical importance to be able to recognize those whom we can trust. A personal example from my life is that four years ago on a school day, my mother was called at work and told that her two eldest daughters had been taken. The anonymous voice went on to ask for a ransom for the daughters they had kidnapped. At this moment, my mother has told me many times that her maternal instinct was to give the person information in order to protect us. However, instead of going with her instinctive judgment, she signaled frantically to her co-worker who was next to her and wrote down, Call my daughter's school. Ask if they are there. And when they called Baldwin, we were in our classrooms. This is the personal example of how reason is a check on our instinctive judgments. It also characterizes the value of applying the ways of knowing as a verification before blindly following the automatic tendency we feel. Throughout my life, I have noticed that emotion also plays a really big role as a check on our instinctive judgments. Emotions, especially empathy, have guided social advancement. That natural instinctive state of mind that emotions foster have guided in many ways and assured that the harsh judgments of some are not followed by all. Emotions is the way of knowing that I personally believe is responsible to giving a specific variety to the instinctive judgments of people. It is what ensures that all humans are not all fight response, or that certain thinkers rebel against the common practices of society. For example, those that spoke up against slavery are making use of their emotion as a way of knowing, of their empathy, their best of their ability, to check up on not only their instinctive judgments, but to check up on those of the ones of the people around them, which were evidently influenced by biases. Faith, another way of knowing, also determines and checks up on our instinctive judgments. Our beliefs become extremely embedded into our perspectives. The most evident form of this is one's religious beliefs. From an ethical standpoint, religion will most definitely affect their instinctive judgments at a very subtle level, depending on the moral code the person abides to. The strong beliefs embedded in the doctrines of religion shape a knower's paradigm completely and inherently affects their instinctive judgments. Faith ensures that it, the instinctive judgments of a knower that a knower is inclined to make lines up with their moral code. In conclusion, ways of knowing to a full extent check up on our instinctive judgments. They verify the reliability of our innate impulses as humans, all of which is extremely vital in preventing that our unconscious decisions overcome rational thought. They're not only crucial checks in the long run, but every, in everyday decisions knowers make. The flexibility of the statement made by the prompt renders the purpose of their instinctive judgment shaped by the ways of knowing limitless. They are applicable to all the areas of knowledge.